This is a patient who had had a Whipple surgery a few days ago for a cholangiocarcinoma and had subsequently developed some pain and some loss in uh, their uh, hemoglobin hematocrit levels. They wanted to get a CAT scan to look for a hematoma, and if there was some active extravasations, the patient was unstable. So as we look at this on the non-contrast study, you can see that there's certainly no more peritoneum and a few drains. That's in keeping with the recent surgery. There's also this uh, high-density fluid within the right upper quadrant adjacent to the liver, really in the right subphrenic space. And so all that is compatible with hematoma. As we look in our arterial face, we can see that amidst all this very subtle, but certainly few tiny foci of contrast that's accumulating there. So those findings are compatible with active extravasation. We can see that in the arterial phase. As we look at our more delayed phases, we can see that that area starts to layer out a little bit. And so there's active extravasation leading to this hematoma. Uh, in the context of the surgery, this patient ended up going to the IR suite. They weren't able to find their area of active extravasation. It probably tamponaded by then, but they did place um, some embolization material just to make sure that uh, indeed the bleed uh, was stopped. <laughs>